Hey, today we're talking eating better, warming up to lift weights, and then what to do with these things that you bought and laying around the house. Welcome to episode number four of Ask Avenue. We have survived. We got power back on, we got water back on. The city of Houston is back to thriving once again. And we're here with you in Living Color bringing you the fourth episode after our Winterfest 2021 here. We still got the questions that were pouring in last week, which is crazy because people didn't have power, but yet they still seem to manage to send in the questions to us because it must be that important that we get them answered for them. So up today, we've got, as I said kind of in the intro there, is what are we gonna do to eat a little bit better? How can we warm up to, to lift weights? And then what to do with those resistance bands that you've bought a long time ago but you never really actually put them to use so here we go all right guys so now up we've got a warm-up uh, we had a question about if I'm going to lift weights I need just a good warm-up to get prepared for that uh, workout so follow me over here I'm gonna show you a few things again it's quick short and sweet it'll take you three to five minutes and you're done you knock it out and you get on with the fun stuff uh, so first thing is what we call rotary stability so basically we got knees down on the floor, toes down, hands down, and all we're doing is moving opposite. So I'm gonna go right arm, left leg, and just a very slow extension, come back down, touch the hand to the knee, and then extend back out. You can go eight to 10 per side on that there. Just think that you've got a hot cup of coffee on your lower back, you don't want it to spill. You wanna do that very, very slowly. So next up, from this same position, we call this a kickstand stretch. I'm gonna kick one leg straight out to the side, foot is flat, toe is straight ahead, hands on the floor, and you are just slowly rocking forward and back. You're gonna feel a nice stretch of the adductors. If you've been sitting a lot throughout your day, this is a key one we love to do here. Just shift forward and back, all right? So now from there, we're already here on the floor. We're gonna flip over just our bridge. Just remember on your bridge, you wanna make sure you're pushing through your heels. So we like to coach toes up to the sky, head resting, hands down on the floor, lift, get a good squeeze up top, and then slowly lower back down to the floor. All right, and then your last one here is what we call a down dog. Again, this will get your upper body firing as well, but I'm looking for just hips up and back, drive your chest into your toes, come back to level. Your arms should stay straight. Big push up and back, come back down to level. Give these a go, guys. Again, good quick warm up. You do everything eight to 10 reps, you're good ready. When it comes to eating better, you got two ways about this. You got some people who are just like, look, just tell me what to do, I'm gonna follow it to a T. For those people, I'm gonna tell you to take your phone out and take a picture of everything that you eat and everything that you drink. Why? Because that's gonna raise a little bit of awareness to when are you eating mindlessly, to actually, you know, how big is the portion that you are putting in your, in your mouth. Because a lot of times when you write things down or you might track it in an app there, you have a tendency to underestimate exactly how much is on that plate or you have a tendency to forget about something that might not necessarily align with where you're trying to go with your goals there. But when you step back and you take a picture, you take a picture of everything, warts and all here in this one, everything on the, on the table or in the drink or whatever it is that you're gonna be doing, when you have that, you can simply go to this. You can go to the scale, step on the scale, and then for a month you take pictures and then you come back at the end of the month, you look through all your pictures and you can either step on with expectations or you can step in, hold your breath really deep and hope and pray that you've moved the dial on that, uh, on that skill there. So the first suggestion would be just simply take pictures to raise some awareness. The second thing that we can tell you is if you're pretty aware of what you are eating and you're mindful of when you kind of go off the deep end and, and start to snack on things that you shouldn't or you overindulge here and there, I'm gonna tell you to go ahead and do this. Something that we've always talked about is divide your plate in half. Half of the plate you're gonna fill up with veggies. The other half, don't worry about it right now. But right now, let's just get into this habit for the next, I would say pretty, pretty much there, the next four to six weeks. Every meal that you can here on this one, that's usually lunch and dinner that we can do this with, is divide up your plate in half. Half of it's gonna be vegetables on one side, the other half can be whatever you want. And I promise you, after four to six weeks of doing this, you're gonna to start to become a little bit more conscious of what is really truly on the other side of the plate. Why? Because after a while, you're gonna see this big colorful, you know, array of vegetables on one side, whether it's a side salad or some veggies that you roast up or whatever, and then you're gonna look at the other side and go, ah oh, man, I probably could start to change that a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that today maybe tomorrow. And you're gonna say that enough and eventually you're gonna to get to that point to where you're gonna be like, you know what, I'm in this habit now, I'm in this groove of filling up with vegetables, maybe I'll shift over to the other side of the plate and finish it out. Because usually people who start to make food changes there, they try to change too much too fast, 
it's just overwhelming and they say screw it and they throw it in there. So first off to raise awareness, take pictures of everything you eat for about four to six weeks and you'll start to be mindful of it all. And then if you're really mindful, start to fill up half your plate with vegetables. And then on the flip side of it there is after about four to six weeks, you start to look at what's going on on the other side. All right guys, so the question of the day here, we've got, uh, we had a question come in about a band and some exercises on how to best utilize the band work. So what I'm gonna have you do, just kind of follow me back here and uh, I'm gonna show you a few things that you can easily start doing. So first thing you're gonna need is your band onto an anchor point, all right? So my band might look a little different than yours. You can put yours through a doorway to hold. You can tie the band off if you want. Just use it, just make sure it is um, sturdy. So what I'm gonna have you do, First off, we call these payoff presses. You're gonna be in what we call a half kneel position. Your hand, you wanna create tension. Hand center, slow push, get a hold, bring it back out. The object of this is, is to fight rotation and not allow that band to pull you back in. All right, you can go straight ahead of the chest or straight up and over. That's a little bit of a progress move there, all right? So your next one, you can add rotation. So I'm gonna hold, half kneel, out of way and just very small rotations. All right, you can go 10 to 15, flip sides. Okay, so now another move. Again, you're still on your anchor point. What, I'm, what you can do next is a deadlift with a row. So you're getting uh, two moves in one here. You're gonna hinge forward, come up, and pull as you stand. I'm pushing through my heels, back stays flat, you're pulling your hips to the back wall. All right, now another. You can step onto your band with both feet, make sure you're directly on. You can pull that band right behind your shoulders, and it is just working a squat pattern. Just nice, slow reps. Make sure, again, you're pushing through your heels on that there, all right? A few quick exercises. Try those out. If you have more questions, feel free to contact us. All right, there it is. We're closing out episode number four there. That's at four. Something like that. You got one of those two here on this one. We're closing it all out there. I'm gonna keep encouraging you to do so here. Keep flooding us with your questions, sending them all in. Take this video, as so many of you told me that you already have, sent it on to friends. Um, what we're doing is we're getting this relevant content only because it's, the questions are coming directly from you. I can think about these questions in my head, the team can think about them all the time, but they're not gonna be specific to you because they're not coming directly from you. So my encouragement here, the only thing that is missing from this episode is your question. Uh, it doesn't matter if you send in five questions, we're gonna try to get to all of them here and it just gives us ammunition for future episodes there again. So take it, pass it on there, go back to the other ones, listen to the other ones there, pass those on there, share it around there, help this thing continue to spread and so it allows us to do what we do best and that's help people make a healthy lifestyle sustainable.